This week we're going to be looking at an ex-streamer who thinks they're the Joker of Dead by Daylight. In a short two months, he cemented himself as the most hated person on DVD Twitter by a long shot. Some reasons for that being, trash talking everyone completely unprovoked, joining a charity stream that's raising money for homeless LGBTQ plus people, talking to the gay streamer who's hosting the event, and then proceeding to call everyone who isn't straight someone with a mental illness, going after Momo7's girlfriend, again, completely unprovoked, and finally self-doxing himself on Twitter. I hope you enjoy. Peace. So this is our Joker friend of DVD over here, because he obviously loves the attention, no matter if it's negative or positive, we will be blurring his name. All you have to do is remember this photo, okay? This comes into play later on in the video, and the fact that on his Twitter it shows he's from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Where that is, doesn't really matter that much, but just know it's in the US. I don't want to be calling him the Joker the entire video, even though I'm sure he'd like that. We'll be using his real name, which he's graciously shown to the world through his various screenshots on his Twitter, Zack. Now Zack's a real character you guys are going to see. He's one of those types that if you've watched my uh, previous video about DBD Twitter, I absolutely hate these types of people on Twitter, but he's the screenshotting trash talking Twitter poster. If you don't know what that is, here's an example. They basically just screenshot any match that they manage to win, don't provide any context on the actual match, and just trash talk. Usually it's provided with uh, late game salts, either from them or from the recipient of the match. Like in this example, you see the survivor saying stuff like, GG's, good luck next. And we got Zach here saying, get some more survivors to put in their place, GG's easy. You know, a bit of banter, completely unprovoked, of course. That's, uh, that's a very common thing you'll notice with Zach here. He's, uh, he's angry at everyone or he likes the attention. I, <laughs> it's hard to tell. I think he just likes the attention that he gets. But if you look at his Steam profile, he, uh, <laughs> He gets some attention, that's all I'm going to say. Look at all the clowns he's gotten from other people. I've never seen anyone get that many, holy. And if you're curious, this is one of his very first posts on his account. He made his account, if you guys remember the first screenshot, uh, this January of this year. He's been uh, a busy boy. Zach's been a busy boy these past couple months. Speed running, being the most hated person on Twitter. So yeah, I, I respect the hustle at least. But yeah, the caption says, it's always the P100 squad that plays the worst. Not even one gen done, shake my head. And I mean, you can already tell from the views to the like, the singular like to the two comments. So he's not, uh, he's not getting the best response from his fellow Twitter users. Here's another beautiful tweet from him with a screenshot of a streamer's face and, uh, got some beautiful words to say yet again. <laughs> The face you make when your cat headphones and gamer girl personality don't get you the four out. This time he adds the streamer because he loves his uh, loves his attention, this guy. And uh, 850 views to two likes. And yes, he does like all his posts pretty much. If you go look at his previous likes on Twitter, one of, one of all his likes are uh, usually just him. So that gives you a good headspace on how liked this guy is and obviously he doesn't care but it's just funny to see I've, I've never seen someone just get dunked on so hard by so many people everyone hates this guy but here's a clip of a streamer who fortunately for them i guess didn't get into a match with uh zach over here someone dc'd during the matchmaking apparently he's quite notorious for slugging streamers at five gens and you know just playing like uh the nicest killer main possible. If you're not slugging everyone at five gens, you're not good at the game. One of those types, you know. But here's the clip of uh, the streamer. Oh God, bro, this guy. Thank fucking God. W dodge. W dodge. I fucking hate. No, no. It was plague. No, it's the plague. This dude is disgusting. Now you may be wondering. Hey, what isn't isn't that a TTV beside his name? Apparently, a few months ago, he was a streamer, still loved just as much as his newly acquired Twitter was. He was apparently banned off of Twitch. God knows why. There's probably a million, a million reasons. It could be something he said to another streamer, homophobic comment, like, who knows, man. Nothing's off the plate for Mr. Zach over here. I'm pretty sure he it was a, just a temporary 
It's pretty hard to get perma unless you're like Boogie. Now it seems he's reinstated himself onto the streaming platform, but he no longer streams for whatever reason. Zach is obviously very unmotivated by money, by his obvious bait tweets that are making no revenue whatsoever. I can understand why he sees himself as the Joker of Dead by Daylight. He's watched The Dark Knight Rises a couple too many times, and he thinks that his goal in life is to spread chaos on the internet, which I honestly think is just really cringe. These are some of his earlier screenshots that he'd post and at streamers or whatever and talk trash on Twitter. Notice in his Discord in the top left, it is his name, Zach. That's how I derive that his actual name is Zach, because these are earlier tweets that didn't really get much attention. Later on, when he got more attention for other things we're going to be talking about on Twitter, I noticed he changed his Discord name to his to his normal like internet handle. Whether or not he forgot to blur it or he doesn't really care, it does come into play later, as you'll see, knowing what his actual real name is. But I just wanted to point that out. Then game chat is always interesting to read on these posts. He says, must be bought accounts. I'd go back to Animal Crossing if I were you. Something that doesn't take much brain power. Really pleasant. This is definitely one of those killers you really want to talk to at any point in your life. But yeah, another amazing ratio from him. He's not even ratio. No one's really ratioing him. It's just himself ratioing himself at this point. Like, there are people that are actually honestly asking if he's a misogynist. Zach just doesn't care. He says, yet another P100 squad that tries to bring a Mac bone and still loses. Another example of why I am and always will be the best Plague main NA. With a beautiful, absolutely beautiful 1200 views, 5 comments and a singular like from him. So zero likes. I don't know what year he thinks he's playing in, but a full P100 squad in <laughs> the current day and age is not like an impressive feat to beat at all. I'm pretty sure everyone who's played the game for at least 100 hours has like one p100 especially on survivor on killer it's a lot harder to find those p100 one tricks like this guy mr zach over here if you haven't noticed is a plague one trick or one trick pony as they call them basically just someone who plays only one character and sucks mega booty cheeks at everyone else but the comments on this one are really really funny they all ratio him of course but they say there's a reason you will always have five followers and genuine loser energy your echo chamber must be lonely so i mean the comments just grilling into him but no you guys it's it's all part of his master joker plan to get death threats i guess i like i don't know again he's making no money from this twitter doesn't pay shit he's not verified like he has no followers and he like at least for me me talking about him i'm, I'm gonna be paid like a hundred times more than he ever will for posting this crap i guess that's why he considers himself the joker he just wants everyone to hate him don't ask me why maybe it's irl issues that takes us to our zapples situation let's read out what this post says top three plague na comments this on my girlfriend's and my profile after hard telling me out at four gens what a loser also i didn't even dc my gf's game crashed randomly throughout the match so basically zach just going on profiles i'm sure he does that like literally every match just goes on to profiles and talks trash the steam comments reading minus rep will dc when their trash duo gets hooked this is coming from zach rep trash streamer and even more trash survivor probably because it's a chick Stick to Animal Crossing, something that doesn't take much brain power. So he really likes saying Animal Crossing doesn't take much brain power. Apparently slugging at four gens is uh, a really big brained play, especially when you're playing like a character like Plague. It's like slugging at four gens with Huntress or something. That's got to be the easiest, most cheapest way, low IQ way to win matches. And just the casual bigotry to add it in. Hey, she's a girl streamer, so she sucks ass at the game. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense from this guy, at least. And Zach couldn't resist retweeting this with his own uh, insightful insightful comments on top of it. And he says, Love it when the white knights of DBD try and defend their trash teammates. Don't DC in the middle of matches. Hopefully you learn your lesson. So apparently Zamples is a white knight for defending his, <laughs> his IRL girlfriend. No less. I guess Zach isn't too familiar with that concept, so... It's it makes sense. He got absolutely ratioed by the entire planet. As he always does. He's a menace, man. He's an expert at giving himself L's. Again, another P100 match that he has to screenshot because it's so impressive, you know. I am Amar, top one plague NA gameplay. <laughs> I can't take anyone serious who talks like that. I'm sorry. In this game? Oh my god. If you didn't know, he's also a Rust player. 
or used to be before DVD. He's definitely a uh, person to play with a 30 mana trash talk. Oh yeah, he just says check it out on Twitter because you know his Twitter is absolutely popping. He's the talk of the town, man. And true to his word, he does post it on Twitter with the amazing caption of yet another P100 team that thinks they can outplay the best plague NA. He's very serious, by the way. Like, this is not trolling. There is no way. You can't be consistently this delusional for years and be trolling. And then he adds the streamer, Casey Meows. I guess is their name. For making it easy. Yeah, you know, pleasant individual with his amazing ratio yet again of... <laughs> I chuckle every time I see them. 2,200 views. So he's got a sizable, sizable audience looking at his tweets with the beautiful two likes he's really pulling out traction on his on his big twitter account over here but yeah here's a uh, clip of what he was doing to the streamer casey meows during the match because you know he loves the attention and i wasn't joking about him thinking he's the joker of dbd i mean look at all the joker gifts that he posts this dude's got an actual problem and here's another P400 stomping killer number one and a like whatever the fuck. You'll notice in a lot of his screenshots of games he wins, he usually brings the jigsaw piece and blood favor. For those who are uninitiated, I will tell you what his game plan is obviously. Brings map with only pallets as perks that blocks all pallets if someone becomes injured and he's playing plague so. You can see why he wins his matches. He's definitely pulling out all the stops to win. But he can't go a game without trash talking into the void. No one's even responding to him. He's just in his own echo chamber again. As we're doing this in chronological order of when he created his Twitter account. Next will be the streamer situation with the charity. Which brought a lot more attention to him for the worse. Obviously as you'll see. Let's talk about it. To dumb it down, a streamer called Flexstream a gay streamer, was doing a charity stream. The charity was for a LGBTQ teen homeless relief center in New York. From what I read about it, that seems to be what the charity was for. So, you know, good cause, right? Helping out the marginalized homeless people. It'd be a really wholesome event, right? Well, Zach wasn't gonna stand by it. Zach applied to be one of the killers during the tournament. Despite his Twitter being an absolute toxic wasteland, his Steam also being <laughs> pretty much the same thing. Apparently, he is known for being extremely homophobic even before this entire situation. So I guess it's no surprise that after some people did some digging into who this guy was, they uh, disqualified him from the tournament after the first day. But it really makes you wonder what kind of person purposely joins a, a, a pretty much just gay rights charity stream with the sole intention of just hating everything the charity stands for. Like, I guess he just thinks it's like a extremely serious tournament or something that he needs to show his muscles on or like it's very obviously just a very casual fun thing it's not some comp scene extremely serious tournament you'll see he does play it like an extremely serious tournament he even goes in and talks to the streamer flexstream before the matches the gay streamer might i add straight up talks to him despite the fact that he thinks that everyone who's not straight has mental illness and he's clarified that he thinks this way many times i feel like there's three stages of being homophobic there's like the there's like the closet homophobe who like just kind of keeps quiet they have their opinions but they keep it off off other people's sites and feeds whatever and if you're one of those people fair enough you know everyone's entitled to their own opinions about stuff doesn't mean you have to go attack other people or join other people's streams for the sole purpose of attacking them because of what they identify as or the second stage would be just full-on homophobes you know people that are just calling everyone the f slur blah 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 i'd be putting boogie woogie if you if you remember from my last commentary video that guy i put him in tier two it's homophobic he doesn't he doesn't really care about expressing it all that much even if it's a bannable offense i have a sneaking suspicion zach was banned for homophobic comments from a back and forth that i see on another streamer steam i'm pretty sure an interaction with another streamer is what resulted in him getting banned off of twitch for a bit whether or not that ban was a result of homophobic behavior or zach isn't past the going to any sort of length to 
get attention, so maybe he pulled out his cock during stream or something, I don't know. Sadly, all these VODs of his stream are long gone. I doubt he even kept VODs in the first place considering how he acts, so. But the third and final tier of homophobia, going into something like a gay charity hosted by a gay guy and just being a full-blown homophobe before... I mean, during, his mind isn't changing during these matches, these charity matches, mind you, and after as well. Like, what goes through your mind to do that shit? But yeah, here's the interview with Fleck. You guys can hear what he sounds like, what Zach sounds like. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing phenomenal, how are you doing? I am doing so, so good. Are you ready for the tournament stuff? Yeah, I am. I, I... Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, I totally forgot I was in it, so... Like, <laughs> I was like, Baltimore. we were slightly panicking for a hot second, because I was like, I haven't heard from Imagine, and I was like, I wonder yeah, if they I'm forgot. I, I was on Rust, and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta drop this real quick. And then, <laughs> yeah, was, I'm, I'm, I'm here to... No I'm worries to at all. So, without, um, without, like, spoiling, like, any of your perks or the kills that you want to play as, what's your, what's your strategy? What kind of things are you anticipating, thinking about, like, doing in order to kind of, like, maximize the wins for today? So, um, I don't know if everybody knows who my killer is. It's, um, it's Plague, obviously. Okay. Um, I've, I've been manning Plague since, I don't know how long. I'm in love with her. She's my only P100, and I still play her to this day. So, the strategy I have with this build, since we're only allowed uh, common and uncommon, mm -hmm. is I feel like with... I guess in a competitive setting that it's really hard to get survivors infected they don't give you the free infections so this fair, build fair. i have is kind of built around the infection rate okay okay um so I've there's kind of like a handicap this... with the add-ons i see yeah I, it's not the normal add-ons i run this build is kind of just something out of the blue i made up as well so you know, okay it's all for fun and games but we'll see yeah. how it works out excellent that sounds great and you're going to be our first plague of the evening by the way we have had a lot of killers today we've had um i think you might really? be like the 10th killer in what would be like the 13th game something like that so yeah first play wow. i think the only I repeat i think the only repeat might have been the dredge we had the dredge three times and everything else has oh, wow. been different yeah so you're going to be our first our first plague, which is so cool. Um, awesome. If you are um, on Twitch at all, and you would like people to know your handle to follow you, what would you? Uh, what's your Twitch handle? Uh, I I don't stream a lot. It's it's not a big deal. I appreciate it. Um, not a problem. I mean, if there's anything else that you'd like to plug in its stead, you're welcome to too. All right, per I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Well, um, good luck with the games. Let us know you. if you have any questions at all. So I just like this random map, no offerings. Correct. Um, yep. No so offerings. Uh, all brown and yellow items. Yep. Uh, and the survivors are in the same boat. There's no offerings, so you don't have to worry about anybody bringing RPD <laughs> or anything like I that. I shouldn't mind the map. I shouldn't mind that map. See, I love bad. RPD too. But <laughs> yeah, We're the only two, maybe. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm ready whenever they are, so. All right, well, good luck, and uh, I think we're off to the races. All right, thank you. Take care. All right, thank you, you too. So, wow, really wholesome guy. This Zach guy seems really cool. He loves Plague. I'm sure <laughs> no hidden intentions of joining this tournament. Yeah, man, I hate these kind of people, dude. They, like, they're all super polite and positive to your face. Then behind their backs, they're calling you someone with mental illness. Like, I feel bad for Flexstream. I'll, I'll have his stream in the description, of course. But imagine talking to someone, and they seem like a nice dude. And then you learn later what they think of you. They think you're some mental patient that needs to be put away. Hey, yeah, that's gotta hurt, man. Go support him. Seems like a really cool dude. He does a lot of community events, all that really positive stuff. But we'll play some clips of the matches. He does win all three matches pretty easily. As I said before, it was not a competitive tournament. It was a charity tournament. You know, people were just playing for fun. But, you know, he's full on sweating, of course. Because in his mind, it's not the charity that comes first for obvious reasons for him. It's the tournament. He doesn't give a rat's ass about the charity or anyone else. He's just like, I gotta prove myself. It's impressive to win a charity tournament, I guess. But yeah, here are some of the clips during the matches. Connected. I don't think I've ever seen anybody play the play. Wow. Like this. That was... This was also our first 4K. This is our first 4K. And there goes Team Canada! That corrupt is seeming like it's lasting forever too. Wow, that was brutal. Oh my goodness. That was definitely a tough, 
tough first game. Yeah, Pixel, we still gotta wait for the team anyway, so I'd say you probably have, let's say, 10 minutes, 10 minutes or so. Yeah, good on him. You know, he does slug and do all his normal stuff during the matches. But at the end of the day, if it was just left at that, you know, that was just all this guy was about during the matches. No one really cares. People during the match probably care because they're facing a try hard when they're all trying to have fun to raise money for charity. After Zach has all his matches, the charity stream ends. And the next day, the streamer is informed of what Zach is up to online. His well-known reputation for being uh, not very pleasant, despite the interview suggesting otherwise. Again, he's just a coward who hides behind words, but when he's actually confronted and talked to by an actual human being, he's not going to say shit. He's like one of those chihuahuas that you see in the park that's like barking at the bigger dogs. The instant the dog starts walking towards them, they start screaming and running away. It's like one of those a slimy bastard. Anyways, but yeah, Flexstream comes online the following day to let everyone know that that pretty much he's getting disqualified for his previous actions, both on his stream, on his Twitter, just in games in general, I guess. I'm sure there's an absolute mountain load of evidence of why he shouldn't have been allowed in a gay charity event or LGBTQ. But yeah, this was Flexstream's announcement. Um, we did have a player who we disqualified from the tournament today after um, learning more about them. They did play a they scored very well in their game that was imagine jw they did score very well in their game when they were playing against v's team however as this tournament went on um we came to learn some kind of gross information about who they are um on their social media platform um that is just not something that i stand for that the team stands for, that our community stands for. It's disgusting behavior. It's quite frankly, had we known about it ahead of time, we would have not let them participate in the tournament in any way, shape or form. So just know that um, we definitely take swift action against that kind of bullshit. It's kind of disgusting. Imagine JW will not be advancing. Imagine JW will not be part of our community. If we can, we're going to be blocking them from every single thing that we can possibly find them on. So, unfortunate, but it happens. One this situation happens the 9th of March, so pretty recently. As I said before, he's been busy ever since he made his account in January of this year. Right after the announcement was made, you know, he's got to retweet this to really give his stance on what he thinks of uh, the dude he just talked to and was super respectful to, who just found out he's a uh, snake. Snake hid it in the grass. In Zach's official statement on the situation, he seemed really remorseful for his previous actions and really want- Okay, I'm, I'm lying. He, he talks shit again, of course. On his tweet, he says, First tournament I entered and I absolutely destroyed them to the point where they disqualified me. Yes, flex streams couldn't handle me. Pro tip, if you make a charity event, make it towards something that actually matters in society. Oh, all right. Well, first of all, so let's look at that ratio yet again. 3.2 thousand views, two likes, nine comments. He's uh, really pulling in the traction to getting death threats, I guess. Like, but of course, him saying absolutely destroying them. Good charity stream. It's not comp. Who, who the fuck cares? Cares. These people are obviously not try harding to win, but you were, so of course you're gonna win. And then his comments towards making the charity event something that matters. Apparently helping the homeless, no matter what kind of orientation or anything of that is just bad. Don't help the homeless. God, no. But as you can see, he's uh, real remorseful, as he always is, with uh, obviously being in the wrong. But after that stinker pulled out some traction, of course, he's got to milk it for all it's worth. So he posted this banger, how I felt after that tournament. And he, of course, adds the streamer again. And in the comments below it, of course, it gets ratioed yet again. But besides that, that's just kind of case in point with anything he does. You got someone in the comments saying, like, it was for a great cause. You know, why are you tweeting at me, Salty Mad? Not to mention liking your own tweets as i said before he does that and all this all this stuff he's obviously not got many fans out here so times are tough he says are you bored stay mad i guess and zach replies with it's ironic you don't see you're adding fuel to the fire you're trying to put out keep giving me attention i thrive on it oh yeah zach we know 
We know you thrive on it, dude. It's 100% attention you craving for doing this shit. He doesn't care if it's good or bad attention. He just wants attention. Because I guess in real life, he doesn't get enough of it. And that's why I've blurred his name on all these as well. Because, of course, he thrives on attention. So, me making a video is going to be a huge, oh my god, I'm famous kind of thing. Billy is one of those guys that looks at his Twitter and refreshes it every, like, few seconds. To see if he's got a new like. Or a new impression for him. Because he doesn't really get... Doesn't really get that many likes, besides himself, of course. But he attaches a video, of course, of this tweet, and this is what the video was. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. But yeah, you could tell he just he just doesn't give two shits. And this comes back to the Joker thing. He just truly thinks he's untouchable. Like what he does online will not in any way reflect or affect what he does in real life, which would be the case for most people. Most people who are homophobic or racist online don't spout that shit in real life because, you know, they're pussies. I'd prefer if they didn't speak it at all, but a lot of them are just pussies that like to hide behind their profile picture, their secure and untraceable identity, yada yada. Pretty much just normal internet stuff, right? You'll notice with Zach, he truly doesn't give a shit. We'll get to that in a moment. But yeah, after that charade that he pulled off, he uh, gets blocked, of course, by Flexstream, which is uh, understandable on Flexstream part don't want a homophobe bam adding you to try and get attention zach of course has to tweet about it with the beautiful 2000 views and four comments zero likes ratio again he's truly the king of ratios i've never seen anyone get ratioed this bad so consistently on twitter ever even outside of dvd it's actually a skill but you think he's done with just those tweets makes another post saying today marks a special day no not because i absolutely destroyed uh, flex stream in his own tournament which he he didn't flex stream didn't play in the Okay, okay, Flexstream was commentating over the matches he wasn't actually playing, but I digress. Zach is not the cleverest, cleverest boy. But yeah, then he's just basically just flexing how much of a no-lifer he is in the game. Oh, and I forgot, if you're curious on where I got him calling people being gay or just not straight in general a mental illness, it was under his original Flexstream post. Very confused by the last sentence. Did you join the event to specifically be homophobic the whole time? Or did you only say that after you were upset about the disqualification? And Zach came in just rolling. He doesn't give two fucks. Rolling in with the, it's more of a mental illness, really. And you can tell by the five comments uh, that people were not exactly agreeing with him. But I can assure you, he's not, it's not like he was set off about being disqualified from this tournament or something. And he just, his homophobic roots just came out. Like he's very obviously was just a blatant homophobe way before. Again, if that was the reason he was banned off Twitch before, I can't tell, sadly. Because as many of you know, that is indeed something they will ban you for. Looking back at good old Boogie. But after this entire thing kind of cooled off for a little bit, he went back to his usual antics of adding streamers he beats, trash talking for no apparent reason, just wants attention, of course. He says, shout out to Delinquent XP. If you want to watch a streamer who DCs against anyone who's better than him, he's your guy. To top it off, he'll block you on everything as well, so he can pretend he won. But yeah, him and Delinquent apparently have some history, so they went into each other's comments on Steam and this is what they were saying. I'll just leave that there for anyone who's curious. And he shows Delinquent blocking him on Twitter because Zach decided it's a good idea to at people and trash talk. Very normal human behavior. Gets ratioed yet again. Someone asks a very reasonable question of, so do you have a shame kink or something? Which I honestly agree with. <laughs> That comment ratioed him as well. His next post actually got a decent amount of traction. It was a post about beating another PU400 squad or whatever. He absolutely loves those. He adds the streamer trust and golly. For someone who runs DSDH, he sure like to dodge like a little bitch. But can I blame you? Not really. It's me after all. So he was obviously upset that the streamer had dodged the lobby. He brought the jigsaw map. Again, with his blood favor combo, he absolutely, it's the only build he runs, so. Yeah, this one definitely got more traction. Not in a good way, of course, but like 231k views. That probably upped his confidence a bit to continue trash talking. He craves attention. God, with some beautiful comments that were left underneath this post were the following. Didn't you get canceled for ruining a charity event? But Zach replies back with the stinger of, I'd like to say uh, I was the main event for that charity event only killer that had some skill in it again he seems to be completely you know whoosh on it was a charity 
event. He puts charity in quotations because of course he doesn't think he doesn't think helping out the homeless is something worthy of charity. So but he makes another post because you know he's gotta milk the attention for all he can of this beautiful Photoshop rendition of him in Trusting Godly. But Trusting Godly actually replies to this one with a screenshot of them three escaping against him. And Mr. Joker over here replies back with a screenshot of all four of them dying against a plague with uh no name whether or not this is actually mr zack or some other p100 plague we shall never know oh man the momo 7 drama this was definitely the worst ratio he had on twitter since i think ever on his entire account it was really bad we got a really wholesome post from momo back on the 3rd of march where momo says missed my girly so much really wholesome with his girlfriend and here comes Zach, just zero fucks, just wanting to be the most hated person ever yet again. Say, so can't wait to embarrass you in front of your bitch. When I do win, make sure to pass the leash off to me. I'll take good care of her. That's just something weird. That's just weird to say, man. Like, this is like the most wholesome post ever. And this guy has to come over and just be an absolute fucking degenerate. But this one, uh, the ratios are pretty fucking insane. 143,000 views. So it did get some traction. At least people saw it. Not in a good way, of course. With 130 comments on the original post with 40 retweets or uh, quote tweets, he was getting absolutely grilled. So we'll start off with Momo who asked the very reasonable question of when did I disrespect you for you to call my girlfriend a bitch? And of course that absolutely hard ratioed. Of course Zach doesn't give two shits that he's getting ratioed or else he would have stopped long ago, but he's keeping up the L streak, of course. Some comments underneath the post were, uh, oh, this is absolutely disgusting. Is she an object now? So gross. I mean, it is gross. Like, if you read that, you're just like, ugh. You know, like that's just, it's so out of pocket, you know? Momo doesn't do anything to you. And then you don't even go after him, you go after his girlfriend for whatever fucking reason. Call her an object. The next one is, is quite funny from uh, Pussy Eater. That's a great name. He says, uh, ropes are cheap. Not gonna comment on that myself, but you know, you can get the general vibe of what people think of this dude. Voy with the, this can't be real, you're such a clown. He thinks he's a clown. You are right on that. He's just a loser, but he ain't no joker. You're pretty spot on on what he thinks he is. Someone asking, uh, who are you? And of course, Zach has to respawn with the absolutely beautiful Dark Knight Rises Joker gif. Because he's the Joker, baby. He's just here to spread chaos and attention to himself. He's not actually a bad person. He's just doing it for attention, man. Don't you see? Can't you see past his facade well apparently hens can hens made a tweet that was very obviously targeted toward this situation where he um basically just clowns on him for being an idiot someone below hens's tweet says he does it for engagement which hens quickly shoots down by showing how much he makes with way more impressions than zach will ever get and it turns out on twitter you make jack shit so that again goes back to him thinking he's like the joker oh it's all part of my master plan to get people talking about me for whatever reason there's no end game here though because uh as virtual blight a uh, actual comp player points out someone who did this a lot better on twitter you guys may recognize him because he's been in some actual videos was cm9 the skull merchant main if you guys remember back in the day i think it was Hens who made a video. The basic story with CM9, he pretty much was just a trash talker on Twitter all the time. Kind of like Zach. However, he kind of had a plan with it, where Zach obviously has no plan. But basically, it worked for CM9. All the trash talking comp players or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'll stomp comp players any day of the week. All that shit culminated in him being in a hens video where he does go against the best team in the world. He loses, but he holds them hostage for like, I think it was like 40 to 50 minutes. This was back when Skull Merchant could 3 gen. And guess what? It worked. CM9 on kick gained a substantial following from this exposure. And you know what? Hens got a good video out of it. So both, both win, I guess, for him obviously vying for attention on Twitter, a virtual with the good old, this town deserves a better class of criminal with him and uh, with CM9 and Zach, which is indeed true. He's just a shit version of him. I do find it funny that he absolutely ratioed Zach's original tweet with a Joker scene that he photoshopped over. That's just some sweet irony there. And Zach shoots back with the uh, typical, I'm just gonna go out and say it, the DVD community's dumb as fuck. 
fact that you all can't see through this act is honestly hilarious. You all add fuel to the fire so desperately and try and put it out. This has blown up so much even Hens has seen it. With his beautiful 19 comments, one like ratio yet again. But as you can see through this comment, he's obviously clammy. He's putting up a uh, an act. He's not actually this much of a dick. He's just doing it for, uh, for attention, surely. He doesn't actually think that people that aren't straight have a mental illness. He definitely doesn't think that he's extremely, extremely good at the game. Definitely doesn't think that. It's all an act. He doesn't at streamers on Twitter just because, you know, he's already talk trash in Endgame, talk trash in their Steam. He's just doing the next step. No, it's all because of impressions, dude. And here he goes again saying he's created such a wave. Well, the wave is, uh, I guess, not in your favor. A wave for other people's impressions, I guess. The ironic thing is, you're helping other people more than you're helping yourself because the people that quote tweeted your tweet, your original tweet, gained more. They gained more attention than you did. They gained money. A lot of them did. Hens did 100% from that. So it seems you're the person that benefits the least from your antics. But you still continue to do it. But he's still out here claiming that, you know, everyone knows who I am. I'm the homophobic asshole who joins charity streams just to tell everyone that they have mental illnesses. But not me. I don't have a mental illness. I'm very normal. And of course, you have the comments underneath the uh, the post saying, and still no followers with 73 likes. Oh, no. Who could have saw that one coming? It's basically the same sad story every single time. But after that, Momo got in touch with him on Discord. At this point, uh, Zach had deemed that he had enough attention. I'm not too sure when exactly, but he changed his name from Zach to his normal Twitch handle. But here's a screenshot of Momo basically negotiating with Zach on which map that his comp team and Zach will do 1v1 on. And Momo says, another update, Mr. Zach is too petrified to play against us on a normal map and is refusing to play suffocation pit and then the game he wants to use blood favor on dying on a map with a lot of pallets so momo obviously well aware of what he's up to and what he always does as zach is trying to get them onto the game with his build that pretty much just guarantees him a win zach out here negotiating like he's got a hostage or something you asked me for a match you can play me on my map those are the terms He's got terms, man. This guy's not fooling around. Jeez. But I'm sure no one's surprised that he wants to dodge the actual pro team that's trying to 1v1 him. And he's too scared to run anything except the one map that he always runs. Can't run any like very balanced, you know, 50-50, self po pit, any like that. It's gotta be in his favor. So he's scared. He's scared of the pro team. At least scared enough to have to bring forward his best map. But he's extremely confident and cocky when he wins games and charity streams. <laughs> Again, this goes back to the coward pulling up a front. Maybe that's the act he's talking about. He's actually a pussy, but he's acting like someone who's very confident in his abilities. I don't know, man. But yeah, here's some screenshots of them going back and forth on Discord. There's a lot, so I'm not going to bore you with reading all of it. Pause it. If you're very curious, you can read through it. I never understand the people that are like this. They directly insult someone. And then when whenever they get even the smallest hint of reply, they're just like, you fell for the bait. My master plan. I'm the Joker, by the way. Like, are you stupid or something? And then when he does get no reply and gets blocked, he posts about it and says they're mad. What do you want, man? Or saying shit like rent free or whatever. Like, hey, man, you're not rent free in anyone's heads. They're all... <laughs> They're all going about their day. You're the one who's adding literally everyone on Twitter and posting multiple times about certain people trying to get attention. If anything, these streamers are living rent free in your head, man. We got a reply on Twitter saying, no, man, you aren't the Joker. You're just flailing about for attention. And I've never seen anyone fail harder. What a sad display. Zach, of course, has to reply with his usual Joker. Just Joker trash. He has no way to retort, so he just sends Joker, Joker gif. He then has another post of, uh, you know, him vying for more attention with his badly photoshopped shit. Again, he gets ratioed with his 6,000 views and 4 likes, one of which is probably him. And that finally brings us to the most interesting aspect of this guy, and which I think a lot of us will be split on. But I'd like you to hear me out first. And that's him self-doxing himself. Now this started under the original post where he was trash-talking Momo's girlfriend and saying he'd steal his bitch or whatever, blah blah blah. Someone asks, 
face reveal. Zack asks, how much do you want it? So Zack gives his face reveal, and this is it. Apparently, this is what he looks like. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, okay, he just got a random image from Google and just posts it. That's like, of course, just a typical internet thing, right? No one actually self-doxes themselves, especially someone as hated as this guy. We got Michael, the detective over here, saying, easiest reverse image search of my life. Nice job doxing yourself, dumbass. If that even is you, Lamau. And at this point, I was like, eh, fair enough. Pretty normal stuff to just post post a, a picture of some some random dude and acts like it's you. And he replies with, oh no, he found me. Michael replies, for for a homophobic male model, you're a little, you know, a bit of a, yes, yeah, he's a bit zesty, pretty much. And Zach replies with, gotta be a little zesty. So maybe the whole plan of him is he's not actually homophobic. He's actually secretly gay. Maybe that's the big twist in all this. He's closet gay, so he has to lash out on other gay people to feel like he's less gay. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, what Zach claims to be him. Apparently, he's a male model. Oh, very impressive. But yeah, someone replies under that with uh, an image of his Instagram. And they go back and forth regarding if this is actually him or not. He says, hypothetically, what if this was me? Because it is. And the dude says cap. And Zach says, I take that response as such a compliment you have no idea. Now the question is, is this Zach the same Zach that he posted he is? Well, I went onto this Zach's Facebook on whether or not this Zach was actually the Zach, the Zach we've been talking about this entire time, right? And I stumbled onto his Facebook page and uh, this Zach apparently works for the US Army. So he has two jobs, one for male modeling and one for the US Army. You're like, okay, well, let's, you know, that doesn't really tell you much, right? But then you get to the location that apparently Zach is from, which is Clarkston, Michigan. Now, if you remember back in the beginning of this video, DBD Zach also claims that he's from Michigan. And I was like, oh, that's, you know, that's interesting. It's an interesting coincidence. But then I scrolled up on his uh, Facebook page and, uh, oh no. Hmm. Well, does anyone recognize this photo from anywhere in this video? It's the same photo as his dbd twitter page oh my god there's no way and look i'm not lying on his twitter it says he's from ann arbor michigan which is right near chicago and he joined this year january 2024 the same date that he updated a whole bunch of his shit on his facebook like his hover photo which is the same thing he used for his twitter now there's two scenarios to this and you can decide which is true either one this is a full-on scheme by mr zachary if that even is his real name he first off when he first created this twitter account he grabbed a random model's facebook cover that was recently updated and he used it as his twitter cover photo while creating his twitter account he also put that he lived in michigan he then, as well, changed his Discord name to Zach. Either that, or his actual name is Zach, but this is just another Zach. So he did all of that right when he started his Twitter, in the hopes that two to three months down the line, when someone asks for a picture of him, he could post this random dude self-doxing himself, or just doxing this random dude to get hate, this male model, from Michigan and he could post those pictures and he could claim that was actually him. A lot of steps to something that didn't even need to be done in the first place. However, he claims to be the Joker, that this is all part of a big plan. So maybe, maybe this is his big ruse. Maybe he's not a male model from Michigan named Zach. Maybe this is a whole scam. He didn't self-dox himself in front of thousands of people. He's faking everything. Or the second option, which I personally think is true for various reasons, that this is the Zach, that is quote unquote, number one plague main NA that did all the aforementioned shit and then self-doxed himself after doing that shit and i'm gonna give you a reason why i think that is one is cockiness and arrogance you can tell very quickly through his posts that he deems himself as above others that he thinks he's smarter than everyone that he thinks it's all part of his you know big plan or whatever everyone's falling for his blah 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 all that shit right so you can tell he's very he's very conky he's very uh arrogant on his replies to on his replies to the photos that he showed 
saying things like, I take that response as a compliment, you have no idea. And the fact that he just, he doesn't seem very smart. I can definitely see this guy being uh, in an industry where you don't have to use your head that much like male modeling or the military. Not to flack on them, but they're not exactly, you know, a doctorate. Right. They're pretty close to the bedrock of what's needed for intellects like YouTubers and again, McDonald's workers. He's at the same level as us here. So with the evidence of his cover photo, his old Discord name, that was Zach, the location that he says he lives in for, through his Twitter bio, his arrogance and his self-confidence. And I feel like that kind of ties neatly into someone who's a male model and will jump at any point to display themselves to others. That seems very in line for him as he kind of just jumped into self-toxic himself. It's not smart, but for someone who you know, would be confident about his looks, he wouldn't see an issue with doing that. The issue with that being self-doxing, you don't do that for various reasons like this, for example. I've made this short little poem about the dangers of doxing. I hope Zach appreciates this just as much as everyone else. This is Zach's old high school. What a place. Give them a call and see if they remember his face. Zach's mom looks so happy and kind. Let's hope his doxing doesn't put her in a bind. Zach's grandma's Facebook, what a wholesome place. I wouldn't have found it if Zach hadn't shown his face. Zach's dad seems clever, as clever as a fox. See what happens when you decide to self-dox. And finally, Zach's employer, being openly homophobic, is a real job destroyer. I hope for your sake that this image is a fake. It would be a real shame if this entire family experienced heartbreak.